As Vermont recovers again from major flooding, some towns are looking to the future to see what they can do to keep the water from overwhelming them again. And more than a dozen towns have already turned to better beaver management to avoid it. Our Haley Morgan takes us to Johnson and Burke. So now you can really see the water difference between where the water is over here. Small towns across Vermont are attempting flood mitigation projects, working with beavers. As we have a dam down here. The problem for me is, is now that the water level is coming up. It's coming back to our culvert and pass through on Burke Hollow Road, which will undermine the infrastructure of, yeah. of that whole area. When the beavers started to dam up, since the 70s, what used to be farmland in Burke Hollow is now home to beavers on Pete's Pond. They have built a 15-foot dam that combined with last week's flood has clogged up the town's waterways. And Sullivan is trying to find a solution working to allow the beavers to coexist. There are beaver baffles and there are other type units that can be used to allow the beavers to thrive at the same time that you're trying to get the water to pass through and control your levels. I think we would be more interested rather than harming the ecosystem. The organization Protect Our Wildlife Vermont has a two-year grant to help with various humane projects involving beaver control, but creator of beaver deceivers Skip Lyle, who has worked with various towns in Vermont, says any project a town takes on, making the infrastructure strong is important, especially with more floods. It's a way to uh, protect culverts primarily. I've been improving the technology for, you know, every year. And so you just have to brace it up and drive posts really deep and just make it strong and, and use strong fencing as well, steel fencing. The town of Johnson did its own mitigation project last year, putting in more beaver grades around culverts. And they say it worked with less flooding this year. We run around and pull those grades so that the culverts have 100% flow um, and can take that water during the storm event and it prevents presumably prevents washouts and saves, you know, really tens of thousands of dollars with every storm. Protect Our Wildlife Vermont hopes to hear from more Vermont towns about what projects they'd like to take up. Reporting in Burke, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News. Haley, thank